Hello, and welcome to another volume in the Epic Death Star MOC vlog. And in this episode, we look at the Death Star in A New Hope. This was the very first Star Wars movie of the franchise. It was released in 1977, and everything about it was revolutionary. It used a lived-in universe. The filming and the special effects were groundbreaking, and they really do stand the test of time. But more importantly, it is my favorite Star Wars movie. I've probably watched it a hundred times since I was a kid. Whenever my mom would rent a Laserdisc player at the local consumers distributing and as she asked, what would you like to watch? I always wanted a new hope. Really, if I could only have one movie to watch for the rest of my life, without a doubt, it's a new hope. But of course, I'm going to skip some of the terrible CGI Jabba scenes from Tantooine and there's going to be no malarkey or no malunky because Han Shaw first. So these next episodes of the MOC vlog, we're going to be looking at the different scenes in chronological order. As I have in Rogue One, I have taken images and watched the movie a few extra times to try to make it as movie accurate as possible. Taking into the consideration that the Death Star, the size of the Death Star, I try to make the best looking vignettes possible. So let's get started. The very first room we see inside of the Death Star is the command meeting room. It's a circular room with a circular table. And it's worth noting there are a few empty seats in this scene, and presumably one of them would have been for Director Krennic. The scene itself is great. It provides legitimacy for the Empire. There's a chain of command, power struggling between the different branches, and it also introduces the Force. We have Commander Monty teasing Darth Vader, saying your sad devotion to the ancient cult hasn't produced the rebel base. And then... We also get to see the Force in action, but the dark side of the Force because Vader Force chokes him. This was also one of my very first rooms I started working on because of how much I enjoyed that opening scene. It sets the stage of the Death Star. The next room we see inside of the Death Star is the cell block where Princess Leia is being held captive. It's a fairly straightforward room and I wanted to make sure the flooring was just right so I had to purchase a lot of trans red one by two grill tiles to really reflect that kind of grilled flooring it has. It's a tight space to work in, and it was hard to get everyone for that official look, but there's just enough space in there for the cell block. And there you can see the hallway, and I'm most proud of the tight layout here, as there needed to be the raised hallway leading to the cell blocks, then steps down into the cell itself, and then we also need to have access to the garbage chute here. So this required a lot of planning on how to fit it in just right and work within the confines of the bigger Death Star. And here we have the command room. There are a couple scenes that occur here where there's Darth Vader talking about Princess Leia's resistance to the mind probe. But the more memorable one we always know is the scene where Tarkin gives the order to destroy Princess Leia's home planet of Alderaan. Here I have the 2019 Darth Vader's castle version of Darth Vader which I still have on the top of my shelf, of course. Uh, this Darth Vader is not as detailed as the super expensive Bespin Duel variation, but it, it's a pretty good version. I, I do use the stiff cloth cape because it hangs better, and I've also added one by one black tiles to his feet, so he makes him even that much more taller. The Princess Leia is from the 2019 Death Star Escape vignette, and as a diorama builder, I like how Lego was making more sets like that, showing different uh, vignettes. I just wish they would make them smaller than instead of being super expensive like the most recent uh, Mos Eisley Cantina. I've also used a sticker sheet from the original 2008 Death Star to show Alderaan on the view screen. And it's on a simple device, so it can be moved from showing Alderaan or to the planet Yavin blocking the fourth moon. I could have used the bigger view screener, but that would have, wouldn't have matched the, the image I wanted, and I wanted it to be incorporating the stickers. And of course, there's also the control pods, and I use some stickers as well for some details. The next area we see during the destruction of Alderaan is the beam shaft and its control room. As mentioned previously in the video regarding Rogue One, there were new things added to this room. Originally, before Rogue One came out, it was just going to be a simple room. And the concept was to have the shaft and extend it as long, far as possible to give that sense of the depth of the, the beam shaft. But given the weight, it needed a really good support system too to stop it from collapsing. 
There's the standing platform for the two minifigures to stand at, and otherwise, there was a lot of open space. For the walls, I tried to add various details on pipes, but keeping a pattern going. And for the bottom, I just used black plates. Whenever I used flooring, I used the black tiles because they would provide shine and structural integrity. But for a different look, I figured when there's open space like this, I would just simply use the black plates. As for the control room, I really love the monitor, how there's flashing lights, and maybe that didn't age as well, but it's part of what it looks like. So I wanted to represent that with the tiles and then having the gunners in there, and I really liked how nicely this uh, put together. And here is the command meeting room again, showing the scene where Grand Moff Tarkin is informed by one of his officers that they have scouted the planet Dantooine and found the remains of a former rebel base. He then orders Princess Leia's execution immediately, and it is Darth Vader who steps in and says, perhaps she may be of some use to us yet. And in keeping in chronological order, it's worth showing the Millennium Falcon right now. It is from set 7965, and it was released in 2011. And at the time, the minifigures that came with it were not as exact and detailed as they are now. So they've all been swapped out from various different sets I've picked up along the way since then. I did not use the premium minifigure scale version for a couple of reasons. One, when I began building the Death Star, the original UCS version was retired, so it made it super expensive. But it also would have had to make the docking bay even larger, and it wouldn't have worked the way I wanted, because I wanted to keep the MOC on the 64x64 base plates. So the same reason applied when the LEGO UCS version came out in 2017. It was just too expensive and too big. So the 2011 version really is the right one for this. The set is pretty much without major modifications. I've added some little bit more details on the top and in the landing gears, and I've swapped out the cockpit designs. I preferred the one that was used in the solo version, which I own, so I simply emulated it here. The set opens up to allow for play features, and here we have the scene where the heroes are flying through hyperspace towards Alderaan. And it also foretells what's going to be seen in the next episodes when they arrive at the Death Star. And here is the typical video kind of showing all the different vignettes that were seen in this episode. And here we start off with the very first one, which is the briefing room. As you can see, there's Tarkin. But just to kind of get you a, kind of an idea, there's my hand. Uh, so when I speak about how challenging it is with the smaller space, you really see that my hand doesn't really even fit in there. So that's why that is a challenging room to work out of when you're trying to set up the vignette. Over there, you can see the doors that, uh, that would slide, just simple pull mechanism, the slide open and close. You never actually see that in the Death Star uh, in the movie, but certainly for role playing and, and kind of coming up with the different scenes, I wanted to include that. And we go over there, there's the hallway we've seen before. And now we get into here, there's the command room. Uh, always wanted this one to be big and spacious, that's how I kind of envisioned it. Uh, so that has been seen before, and right beside it, again, this is kind of almost a recap video, because we have seen this before in the Rogue One video. There is the beam shaft and the, the officers working there. There's Colonel Yulorin talking to Quill, kind of about uh, stuff. You know, he's an intelligence officer, he needs to talk to people. And there is the Death Star beam control. This is all situated on the top half, because theoretically, or kind of in a design way, when you scroll over here, come over here that's where the main dish is and the idea would be that that would one of the beam shafts would lead to the main dish the other part of the death star that is spoken to is right down here so it's actually near the bottom and when we zoom in right there you can clearly see princess leia's cell it's another tight fitting spot so it's a challenge to get my hand in there and in fact you can just see the light trying to peek out so it's a little handier when i just angle that just ever so slightly so I played with the idea of having bars on those cells and it didn't really look that great. So I, I removed it, kind of have that open concept. And from there, it does in fact, if you kind of pan out this way, that's why I like doing the videos because it really shows the connectivity of everything. There is the detention block. And right down there is the hallway. Uh, you can, you may not be able to see the vantage, but the stickers do uh, exist on the different door cells. They are from the original Death Star, which I did by a sticker sheet, so I could add those there for some detail. And when I actually have to, uh, when I took that picture of the Navy Trooper, 
way at the back. I had to remove those, uh, the command consoles, uh, simple, just pop them out, but there's no way my hand could get back there. So that is the Death Star parts. Again, some of repetition, but as you see over here, there is the Millennium Falcon where I took some pictures and there I am working on some new ideas for the next video, which I promise will show more scenes. Uh, when I pan around, you definitely get a chance to see that there's a lot more to this Death Star, but certainly in the referencing materials that we've seen, it's really been showing the same stuff. So the new scenes will be focusing on the different parts that, that were shown in this various sets from when the Rebels, Han, Luke, and Chewbacca and the droids and Obi-Wan arrive and really get that scene going. And here are the different vignettes all lit up in the darkened Lego room. So we have the conference room. So this only has two light sources because I wanted it to really be nice and bright in there. Like I said, it's one of my favorite scenes. So that looks well. Over there we have seen the command room a couple times. So there's multiple lights in there. Just to highlight again all the parts we showed in this volume. This is the beam shaft, only one light source up there because this is really supposed to be a darkened section. So that is why there's less light there. In contrast, the observation room is pretty bright. And over here is the firing uh, command room. So we have the different panels. Again, a single light source, but in these smaller vignettes, a single light source does perfectly fine enough light there. And the newer sections that we observed in this episode, we have right down here, we have the jail cell where there is Princess Leia sitting in her cell, hoping to get, just get the door out. If someone would just unlock the door for her, she will do it all on her own. And you're going to see that in the next episode. And over here is the detention block main area. Single light there. And way at the back, you can see that there is another light source, just so that there's light down the hallway there. But again, single light source lights up this room quite nicely, I think. And way in the back, you can make out there is the sticker from the sticker sheet that I put in there to really give that the kind of that long, long hallway. And that wraps it up for this episode. So thanks for watching and... Take care and stay safe.